Okay, everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a little bit of a complication. We have a horse with a, a severe uh, quarter crack. Um, the horse is 22 years old. Um, it has had a crack for a very long time. It closes, it opens, it closes, it opens. So this is the first time we're gonna take a look at this horse. Um, let's go over and take a look here. So what we have here is a type of shoe that is, is often used for quarter cracks. Um, this pattern here, gives support on the on the frog and it helps then take it helps them take away um, the pressure to the inside of the hoof here. So the area that we're looking at today is actually this area here with this quarter crack okay on the inside. So the reason for this shoe is that you alleviate any sort of pressure on this type of hoof. The problem we have with this horse is my personal opinion is I don't think this shoe is actually helping this particular horse and the reason being um, the biomechanics of this horse, the way this horse actually moves, um, the way this horse moves, it, it loads first on the outside and then the, the hoof tips over to the inside and here's where you're going to get a lot of shock going up the inside of the hoof. Um, it could be this type of shock that's creating, uh, that's helping to create the crack as well as other internal structures, other reasons. For the quarter cracks could be um, some sort of bone growth within and it's pressing on the coronary band from the inside. This can change the blood circulation and also create a crack as well. So there's many different reasons for a quarter crack. So first we're going to try and address the biomechanics of the horse. And secondly, we're going to then try and support the hoof capsule and try and stabilize it. So let's get the shoes off. Let's see what we have to play with. We may not have anything to trim off. It's only been done like two weeks ago. So let's see what we have. Take the nails out one by one. It's very sore on the inside here against my leg. So he, he's not being a difficult horse, it's just the pressure against my leg that I'm having to put on the hoof. It's causing him irritation. So, can you see the line? What we, what we have here is the whole hoof has rotated up into itself. So here is very high and here is very low. So this is more normal. What we need to do is try to rotate this trim a little bit back this way to get it perpendicular to the long axis here. So we want to create almost like a, a T. Okay. Once we've done that, we've applied the shoe, then we float this area again and try and stabilize. So, so now we are just Going to clean the foot up a little bit. We're not actually really taking any horn away from the hoof. We're actually just taking the top layer of, of dirt off just so we can see exactly what we have. So in, in this hoof here, just put in a little bit of pressure onto this crack. You can feel there's a lot of movement. It's very soft in here. So this is a little bit messy at the moment. I haven't had a chance to tidy it up. But what we have, just so that we have some alternatives, because this is such a special little case, um, don't exactly know what's going to happen step by, by step. So. Just to make sure that we're ready, um, we're going to have the glue, checking that we have some of the nozzles and uh, some of the bandages. Um, I'm going to take a selection of shoes in there as well, um, and we're going to take a little look. 
see what it is we can do today.